So let me tell you about entrapment. Usually, like, if somebody get locked up and go on the trial and you got different defense, you could say what you're defensive up front. But when you going for entrapment, you can't say my defense is entrapment. You have to build up, you know, your defense for them then to say, okay, I see the entrapment. Okay. I grant it. So now when we first get there and, you know, we starting everything and they like, well, what is your defense? My lawyer was like, we don't have a defense as of yet. So the judge was like, okay. I had a regular jury by my peers. I could have had a, um, a judge jury, but I was scared. I mean, you know, a judge, uh, I was scared because my thing is they picked everybody else. It'd be just my luck. They picked a buddy and then I'm sitting somewhere for years or whatever. So I picked the, the jury with my peers. Did you get to see what they had in Discovery stacked against you? Um, so yes, they had, um, yes. Um, my lawyer let me see some of the Discovery and stuff like that. Yes, yes, yes. Photos? They had photos. They had videos. It was more videos. So all the dates and stuff that me and Lisa was going on, everything, her watch, her bag, a lot, her belt, a lot of stuff was video and audio. So it was more than anything. It was all video and audio. So every for the most part, everything was video and audio. It really wasn't no picture. It was just like lot what was going on inside. But let me tell you how things is funny. When a lot of different things went down, the video and the audio was broke. It was down. So it's a lot of stuff that they don't have. But when we like when it came up in court and stuff, oh, they devices was broke or this was down and that was down. So that's very funny to me because mm -hmm. it, it's stuff that. That's yeah, part of the evidence. That's part of the it? evidence, but now that's down. But this ain't down. So um, a lot of video and audio. So um, now I got Alex. He good. You know, we go through and everything. The trial went good. You could not tell me I wasn't walking out of there. So now it's coming up to the end. Did she testify? Yeah, she got up there testify lying like a rug. What Yo, did she testify uh, to? We wasn't in a relationship. We was just friends. I was like her business partner. So um, she, but she's an, is she an officer? No, she's an, all right, so she's not an informant. So she's actually an undercover officer. So you're not, so she was with, when, you know, we got to tell everything, she was with the department for over 20 years, but she was undercover. So, you know, when they undercover, IAB and stuff is their, uh, bosses because nobody supposed to know that they still a cop. So it's like if I was a cop and I, if she was like a regular cop and she went undercover, they'd make it look like she quit or left the job, but she's really an undercover. So she wasn't a regular informant, like we were saying in the street, like a snitch. Mm -hmm. No, she was a cop that was undercover. So like we see, uh, what's that movie everybody used to watch? So many. In uh, Too uh, Deep? In Too Deep. She yes. was JD. She was JD. Yes. Just a female version. So uh, she got on the stand. I got on the stand. Um, she was, you know, crying, acting like everything she told me was true. She just lied about her name and this, this, that, and the fourth. I said my piece. So now when it's coming to an end, the judge grants the entrapment. So now I think it's like two days left in my trial. My trial went for like a week and a half. It's two days left in the trial. And the judge is like, well, what is your defense? Mm. And that's what my lawyer said, entrapment. So she said, okay, I see the entrapment. <clears throat> Excuse me. I grant it. So this is my argument. If it wasn't entrapment, she wouldn't have granted it. So this is where it blows my mind at. The, we, everybody, you know, they, the, the, the uh, defense say what they got to say. You know, the prosecutor say what they got to say. The defense, we here for all these days. They got their evidence. We got our evidence, text messages, all that stuff. Everybody giving their side of the story. It's time for me to give my get my defense. It's entrapment. The judge agreed that it was entrapment. So from right then and there, if the judge agreed to me, this is my mind, agreed that it was entrapment, how the hell can y'all find me guilty? Because if it wasn't entrapment, she wouldn't have gave us the plea. She would have said, I mean, she wouldn't have gave us the, the defense. She would have said, I don't see entrapment. It's not entrapment. Come with something else. So she gave us the entrapment. So in my mind, right there, Okay, I really was entrapped, but now even with my evidence and all that, the judge sees us entrapment. She grants us the entrapment defense. How do they still find me guilty? They found me guilty on everything. 
And it just like broke. Like when they came out, the jury, the jury came out and they said guilty. It was like my stomach twist. I was sick. But now that I look back, I felt nothing was so wrong because when they came back with the decision, like when the judge looked at it, it's like she dropped her jaw. But I'm, I'm remembering this now. And then when they came, it was guilty. I, I'm getting, it blew my mind. What did Grossman say? Of course, we're going to do the appeal and everything, you know. So did the appeal, did all that. But um, it was a lot. But this is what I'm real mad about. If they didn't want me on their job, or if they felt I wasn't the right fit, I got a college degree, I got education, you know what I'm saying? I got other backgrounds. Y'all could have just fired me. But to do all this, it then paint this picture of me. I done lost people that I thought was friends, family members, all of that. And what hurt me the most, like people that really know me, they know like, oh, all right, nah. Naj wasn't doing all that. It was a mistake. Or, you know, she dropped the ball. But when this all was going on, everybody believed in it. But when I went through trial, it came out. Like, you know, they set me up and all this and all that. But it was just hurtful, like, going through it. And people really was believing the bullshit. You know, they got all type of story. Oh, she was drug trafficking. Oh, she was getting money. Oh, she was doing this. She, all this stuff in the news, lying. Oh, she came to court with a hoodie. Like, just portraying these stories and built, like, messing up my character and all that. And it hurt me because it wasn't me and I really couldn't defend myself. But for people that I thought that loved me or really knew me, we grew up from, you know, diapers. You my aunt. You my uncle. Like, I'm just saying, you my cousin. Like, we broke bread together and you see this shit on the news and you really believe in it. The trail. I think is the hardest to accept. And it only hurts when it's from people we love. Can't hurt from people we don't, don't care you about. Know, you know, you know what I'm saying? It only hurt from the people we love. So that's why I believe it's hurt, because it's just like, if y'all felt all that, I would have respected if y'all fired me. But then, like, they used everything. They used my sexuality. They used my religion. So boom, my mom's is a pastor. She really don't like my lifestyle. So we don't see eye to eye when it comes to my lifestyle. When I was dating Lisa, she had the same problems. So going through it, I didn't see it. Now that I'm out of it and looking back, you know when you in something, you can't see it, but when you out of it. But she had all the same problems. Like when I said they played me, like looking back, like they played me to the core. And I'm like mad at myself because it's like, how I didn't know. You know what I mean What I'm saying? Like, how I didn't know these people was following me? How I know they was in clubs and stuff with me? It was like that serious.